Meantime, bank stocks, they have come roaring back since the pandemic lows, boosted recently by rising yields and uh, reopening optimism. Wilfred Frost joins us right now with a look at what's next for the sector. Wilf. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, first of all, though, what has happened over the last year? KBW Bank's index up over 115 percent from its uh, low last March. The sector collapsed from and then rebounded to surpass its January 2020 high in the space of just 14 months. Why was that? Well, firstly, crucial regulatory and legislative relief for them and their customers, meaning we're likely to only see temporary accounting costs due to the pandemic rather than permanent cash losses. Secondly, market volumes and levels boomed. That's great for trading and asset management. And three, the economy, as you said there, and inflation expected to rebound, creating a steeper yield curve than we've had for years, in fact. Looking forward, a few key things to uh, look out for. Firstly, banks have been able to embrace work from home fully, with at times 95% plus not in the office. But they're also a sector that's reticent to depart from office life in full in the long term. Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon said recently, quote, I do think uh, for a business like ours, which is innovative, collaborative apprenticeship culture, this is not ideal for us and it's not a new normal. It's an aberration that we're going to correct as soon as possible, end quote. Second, buybacks, which have been one of the key drivers of performance in the last decade, are suddenly appearing less attractive for the simple reason that stocks have run up so much. This could add to another recent theme that's been gaining traction, M&A and consolidation if more cash is available. Third, the fight with fintech likely to intensify. On his most recent earnings call, Jamie Dimon said of the fintech threat, quote, I expect to see very, very tough, brutal competition in the next 10 years. But he added, I expect to win, so help me God. And Andrew, the other final point I'd note, snapshot this crisis versus the large, last crisis. Banks have not been in the crosshairs in terms of the main focus of legislators uh, and regulators uh, and have escaped that. I mean, apart from the Citadel and, and, and the Robin Hood stuff recently, banks themselves have, have escaped it largely. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.